Oh, <laughs> he's exposing me. Let's go. Have I made it? Before they were famous, so I guess so. There's my boy. All right, you little butter chickens. It is time for Love Dr. Harry. So put your relationship problems or whatever's going on in the box here. Um, and I'll give you terrible relationship advice or amazing relationship advice. Just chuck it in and yeah. So they're probably planning a surprise birthday party for you. Um, if your birthday is coming up, then I'm super excited for you. They're probably planning something amazing. Um, but if your birthday isn't around the corner, then... Uh, <laughs> if someone's calling you a whiny bitch, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be dating them. That's rude. Like that's Chris, if I called you a whiny bitch, would you still be my friend? Yeah, well, it's different in relationships, but... I think it's inevitable that people are going to get angry and, and argue through this tough time because it's, it puts so much pressure on your relationship. But you guys just need to communicate and try not to get each other angry or wound up and talk about kind of what's under your skin and what's annoying you. Uh, that's an instant red card. Yeah, deal breaker, Venom. Straight gone. to the sideline. Gone. Simon Cowell. <laughs> well, I feel you. Yeah, um, I've been yeah. deep inside my fridge today. <laughs> <laughs> Christian will be able to give you some advice on this one. Look, so am I. You just gotta accept it. He loves Francesca, <laughs> not me. So I honestly think you need to, why am I so red? Um, but you need to just be open and communicate, tell him how you feel and that you kind of want to take it a little bit serious, take it to the next level. And if he's not with it, then he can take a hike. Can't say anything better than that. Look, I like to keep like an open mind on this stuff. If something isn't working and you need to try and do what you can to make it work, then um, I'm sure, I'm sure it's okay, but for my personal situation, there's absolutely zero fucking chance that that would happen. Oh, commitment. Am I the problem? Is You're definitely problem? not the problem. Oh, if, if you guys are hooking up and having fun, um, and then he's too scared for commitment, then he's a... Sounds like he's got commitment issues. And he's an F-boy. Um, I think that you need to give him space. He's obviously still trying to figure his stuff out with his ex or how he feels he probably just needs some breathing breathing space uh and some time for himself to realize what he actually wants maybe just talk to him and see why Ooh, your best friends sound like the worst friends ever you need to number one get new friends because they suck ass and number two get this guy the hell out of your life because that is bad news that's a bad person for you and he's gonna ruin your life toxic i think you need to own your shit girl i think you need to go in there be confident know who you are and the power in that and just absolutely tell him what's up and what's going on. And just look yourself in the mirror and just tell yourself what you want to tell him. And you're that bitch. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's always good to work on yourself and there's plenty of time to find someone. Just focus on your studies and, and do what needs to get done and then the dating will come easy afterwards. Simple as that. All right, sounds like a verse out of the Bible. Little turkey butterscotch brownies. Um, <laughs> that's probably enough for now. I don't want to flood you guys or annoy you, um, but I might do a couple more later. Let me know. Uh, much love, my little.